So in the last tutorial, we basically looked at how to take Animog and strip it down to its basic fundamentals in order to initialize a patch. So we have a nice starting point, a very basic preset that we will be able to build from. And so what I did, I just opened it up again and it loads to the default preset. So once you've saved that, or if you've loaded my preset into your iTunes library and basically had it loaded into Animog, you can simply select initial from the patches and we'll call up this basic patch. So now that we have that, let's start really creating a more interesting sound now that we know some of the fundamentals. First thing I'm gonna do is come to the keyboard scale. So what's great about this is I could use, you know, like a MIDI in and out interface for the iPad or iPhone and be able to play it on my keyboard, but it's really inventive how to use this keyboard and it's very interesting. So unlike what you can do with a normal keyboard, you can set the scale and using these different modes and whatnot, be able to go in and select exactly what you want. If I want a major pentatonic scale. Keith Emerson, eat your heart out. Who knew? With my fingernail. I can become a synth performer like that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is select a nice basic Aeolian, which is the minor scale, and I'm going to select D as the root note. So now everything I play is going to be in D minor, which is fantastic. So if you're not a great keyboard player and you don't quite know exactly how to play and what you're doing, this is a great option because you'll be able to um, limit your choices of what you're going to play. So we can even set the scale where we want the notes, which notes we'll, we'll play so it's easier to hit. There we go. Very easy. I'm going to turn off mono and legato. I just want it to be able to play pads if I wish. So it's polyphonic right now. Very cool. Next thing we need to look at is come to this envelope mod tab. Now, first thing we can do is make it a little more interesting. Anytime you double click on these, not double click, I guess double point on these windows, for instance, the amplitude envelope, we can add a little release. So if we want it to ring out a little more, if you want to shorten the decay and sustain levels real short and create a much more plucky sound. Very cool. Or if we want to turn this into a pad even, we can adjust the attack. Which I think will work with a pad for now. So I've set my amplitude envelope. That's the first thing you might want to do to get the character of your sound. Next thing we want to do is adjust some of these modulation parameters. So you have four different modulation source controls you can basically use. First one I'm going to use is the modulation envelope. So just like we use an amplitude envelope, you can use a modulation envelope and set it to a specific source that you want. So as our source, we're going to use the mod. And as our destination, we're going to choose one of these parameters. And specifically, we're going to use the thick detune parameter. And so when we come to our thick channel, let's actually put the unison up to four. So what happens is this adds extra voices to what you're playing. So right away we've stacked these sounds. You can hear it sounds bigger already. And if we slightly detune these, you get a really cool kind of phasing sound. Here we go. If we do an extreme detune, it's crazy. So we're going to set this to zero because what we are doing is going to have this modulation envelope actually affect that knob. So what I'm going to do is set this slow like the attack because we basically, we're going to want to build up this effect. And we're going to have the effect of the detune build up and then fall back down over time. So here we go. Why don't we hear anything, Matt? Well, you have to set an amount to that source. So let's go in and let's just dial up a little bit past zero. We don't want it to go way too high into the detune range because it sounds kind of bad. 
So let's listen now. As I hold it down, you'll hear it come in. So it builds up that detune, and then it comes back down to zero detune, as the mod envelope has set it. Very cool. Now what's great is we have four of these mod controllers. So let's use the LFO on the next one. Select source as the LFO. And we will set the LFO to control volume. How about that? We can make like a cool stuttery type pad, like a gated pad. Why don't we hear anything, Matt? Again, adjust the amount. So let's put this way up. Now let's listen. We can even sync the LFO to the beats per minute and change the shape. So if I want a, um, a more of a resetting type of sound, like a clicking sound for the gate, we can change it to like a sawtooth. Very cool, very cool. Now next, we have a filter envelope, but I don't want to use it. I want to show off one of the coolest features with this product, and that's using the control of poly pressure. So on poly pressure, what I can do is, depending on where I'm going to hit this key, if you can even call it that, it's kind of a cool looking control, but where I'm going to hit it is going to affect a parameter. So for instance, a great one to do is going to be filter frequency. So we're gonna set the amount fairly high, and I'm gonna take my frequency down to a base of about three. Now watch what happens is I hit it low on the control key. I come in at the low frequency. And what happens if I raise it? You guessed it, it is going to raise the frequency as I move my finger up. Let's adjust the amount all the way up so we'll get a brighter attack even start the frequency here and maybe add a little drive, a little bite to the frequency. Very cool. So instantly we've created a much more interesting sound. Now how are we going to take it another step? Well, remember we were discussing timbres and we were talking about orbit and all this good stuff, but we didn't quite talk about path. So you can set a path for the notes to follow. For instance, I could make it go wherever I want. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit edit and we can just start clicking all over the XY pad and you'll see a new path. When you're done, you can hit edit and we can select a rate. So now watch. All my control parameters are still going, but we can basically sweep through these different timbres in a really cool way. I'm going to clear it up and I'm going to show you a very basic one so we can get a, a good idea. So let's start right in the middle. Let's come all the way down to this bottom one, all the way across and right back to the middle. Now the reason I do it like this is because we're going to start in one timbre and then go to another and then sweep through all the different sounds from that timbre and come back to the middle. So here we go. Let us select a new timbre. For the bottom we'll select something very interesting sounding. Let's see here. Hmm. That one's got a lot of movement to it, so we'll use that one. So now when we set a path and a rate, this is what it looks like. That timbre's not doing too much. Let's try this one. There we go. That's kind of the effect I'm looking for. So we'll slow it down a little bit more. And you can see how you can have it go back and forth. You can have it loop continuously. Or you can just have it set up once. So I'm going to have it set up once so I can play. Sweep through and then hold it where I want. Again, you can do this in all sorts of different ways. But you see a very easy setup. 
on how you can get this going with a much more interesting sound. Now, immediately, again, we can adjust the control of our orbit. So we can kind of blend a little from X and Y. And you can see right away, you can really get into some crazy, crazy stuff. Let's do a little more bit crushing. All sorts of cool things. So again, load up as many mods as you want. You might even want to use something like a traditional mod wheel control. And to show those, they are in the setup under mod strips. So the same way you can select, maybe you want this to be filter frequency as you move the mod or the pitch wheel up and down. It's very cool stuff. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music. <laughs> 